around. Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today, you guys, we're at Hallelujah Junction. I've been wanting to come out to this location for like 15, 20 years. And guess what? Finally here, we're going to be digging some scepter crystals and they can get huge. Let's check it out. Special thanks to Ryan for having me out. <laughs> check out his Instagram for some awesome custom work as seen here. What? Here we are with Miles, and we are definitely in a four-wheel drive because, you guys, we're about to go up Greasy Hill. And let me tell you, it's a lot more steep than it looks. Going, like, <laughs> straight up. All right, guys, digging around, and we're just getting into this pocket area here. You can start to see the way the dirt and everything starts to form up in these pegmatites. Look at that. Right there. Super clear. And there it is. Slightly cleaned up. You can see the nice scepter formation with a citrine color. At over 7,500 foot, the view is breathtaking. As you look west, all you see is California. So you guys, we're sitting here. Jamie walks up and she's got this crazy, she didn't even walk up. She was already there. And she's like, look at this. And she found one of the best scepters, what, right there? Like right there, two seconds ago. While we're over here digging like crazy. <laughs> can I, can I? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh man, look at that. Yeah. That is amazing. Golly, I mean, it was dude. Just... Oh my gosh. What is just that? wild. Look at the color on that too. Like, we're flabbergasted. So we've got a crystal right here in the pocket. You can see the scepter formation right there, and it's loose. Pull it on out here. Oh, what a great way to start the day off. Oh, man. Superior scepter. Love these formations with the citrine. Just awesome. Look at that little rainbow. All right, man. I'm just standing here, and Shaggy just pulls out this huge point. Look at that. Wow. Amazing with the crystal on the base there. That is pretty phenomenal yeah that's a freaking pillar form all right the guys have found something wild so good there would be a shaft on there dude what this is just an amazing piece it's still dirty it needs to be cleaned up but you can just imagine it's going to have some purple some smoky look at that it looks like a huge heart this is just incredible what? All right, guys, so Ryan just called me back to check out this pocket. He said you might want to see it. So let's go check it out. Good one, huh? Yep, All right, here we go. What you got here, huh? Yeah, we just pulled out this nice wow. pad right here. Jimmy Purple. Look at that. So this one's got that purple, and it's got some really neat, smoky saturated areas oh no that is a really unique piece the way it just formed hanging off instead of straight scepter you can see a pretty good size point there that one just came right off oh look at that that's loose it is loose, you guys. Look at that. And it's just a chunk, but hey, it's got some faces. And it is so much fun to wipe those faces off. Look at that. So we'll just continue to dig around in this pocket here. Oh, we're getting some bones. But we are getting into oh, some. Oh, I see some negative space back oh, there, too. Yeah. That could be good. Look at that. Something maybe here. My 
finger in there and we'll pull it straight up. Up. Okay, guys, look at that. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, but I'm, I'm liking it. I'm, I'm yeah, liking it yeah, look at that. There we go. Yeah. Any inch. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, got it. Mm. That's what the mountain wanted. Brian got me. Donate a little blood. Now there it's gonna it is. Open up. Yep. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's right, you guys. Now we're gonna find it. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Guys, that stings a little bit, but check it out. This is gonna take <laughs> that sting right away because right below it, we're seeing some huge points. Look at this. Right beside it, we got another one of those crystal shards that's actually pretty neat you guys maybe we should hold on to that one but look at that and getting a little bit broken but getting better, that's more structure. some big crystal some big structure yeah nice structure lots of quartz look at that there you go Hoo -hoo -hoo. nice pulling them you notice these have a little bit of mica Ooh, what do we have here all right guys do we have the back of it or do we have the tip here we go here we go Ooh, and we have a little bit of a damaged crystal but look how long you guys can you imagine if a scepter had formed right on top of that and that's what we're gonna find <laughs> you didn't imagine it don't imagine it it's gonna happen Ooh, yeah, they are getting bigger. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're starting to get bigger. Oh, the color is so cool in these. Look at that rainbow backlit. And it just gets better and better the more we dig this pocket. Yeah, yeah, he was right. He said, just keep on going. And I never doubted. You can really see there's something here and there's something here. They aren't attached. So let's go ahead and pull this one out first. I don't think this one's going to be too crazy, but you never know. You never know. It's definitely a pretty, oh, that's a pretty good size point. What happens with these tips is a lot of times these points, as they're growing, they're sitting in the pocket and you get earth movement and they fall or the earth just squeezes them out and they get damaged. But we're gonna keep going because we're getting some nice large pieces. You just never know, which is really the fun of crystal digging. You never know what you're gonna pull. Yeah, that one's just gonna be a shard there. Ryan decided to hop in the machine and scrape the walls just a tad and open up some fresh pockets. All right, having a great time. And Ryan called me over and check this out, guys. Look at that. Now that's either could still have the scepter on the on the other side, right? Or it not? Could. Yeah, could. It could. Likely doesn't, but definitely. Oh, could. I see. Because of the way it's facing in that wall. Wow. Right. This is actually that point that Ryan just pulled out. It's super clear on the interior with a little citrine. It looks like it could be a nice big celestial there. So, right about that. Oh, and look at what we got here. There's a little scepter head with a contact growth, a little rust. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You can see. Where it grew into another point so what we've got to do to try to remove this is first get the stuff around the edges you just don't want to rip it out because then you could damage the points to where they're really uh almost touching the the surrounding rock and in the meantime while you're doing that you can also pull out some great points that grow all around these Ooh. Pulling out some cool clusters here. You can see they're loaded with pop. 
pocket debris. These are really neat because back east, when I dig amethyst and stuff, we never have mica in the pockets. We're digging straight hydrothermal. So look at that, that's cool. It's like this real slick. It's like a bear claw. After washing this piece down, most of the mica remained intact. I was super stoked because I really like that mica. I'm gonna go with this stuff down here so this thing can come that way. Yeah, you guys, anytime you're pulling these crystals out of the pockets, like right now, he could easily just rip it right out, but that's a problem. You don't want to rip because what happens is you get contact points are very close between here and the crystals. So you want to take this out so this crystal can just pull straight out. Kind of like pulling a tooth. You just don't want to rip it. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa, that is wild. That's like a uh, crown. Yeah. Look at that. Big old chunk. Look at that elestial. Haven't even touched it. There's a scepter right there. And it's loose. It's just sitting there. Probably came from the ceiling. I didn't move any. But Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. That's happened before. Wow. All right, back in this pocket and look at what has done revealed itself. It is huge and it's still in the wall. It's loose, you can see, but I'm not gonna pull it yet. I'm gonna dig around and we're gonna do this the correct way because we do not wanna damage it. And if there's a stem on the bottom of it, which there could be because see you guys, it goes back up into this bubble. And it could be, look at that. All right, here we go. It's it's coming on out. Look at that. Ooh, nice. I love wiping these. Yeah, look at that. The mica makes them like super slick, you know, to wipe that face. It's, yeah, you guys, look at that. Let's get it cleaned up. Here it is cleaned up. Look at those colors. Purple, citrine, amethyst, ametrine. Wow. These crystals are amazing backlit. All right guys, so I popped this rock right off the wall and look at this. There's a crystal that must've came out somewhere here. I don't even know. There's probably the bug that it came from. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a scepter, look at that. What? Oh man, it's kind of like a mushroom scepter. That's actually gonna be pretty cool. Look at this piece. It kind of really looks like a mushroom. It's probably my favorite or one of my top pieces from this dig. Super formation. Oh, this one's in there. That's how you do it. So you guys, right here where we're digging, there's really almost no wind. But right over here, it's kind of warm, almost 100 degrees today. You can come up and check this out. So we're about to come in and maybe do a little bit more machine work, but right before he was about to, look at this. Just pop right out. We got two large crystals here. All right, here we go. Pulling out this first one. It's ready. Oh, <laughs> look at that. There it is. Huge. Wow. So Ryan's got that wall nice and prepped. And look at that. Fell right out of there. Huge perp. 
So now it's time. They're gonna go check it and see what is showing. Just getting into it, and I believe I've gotten into a pocket here. You can see a few crystals to come out. All right, guys, check this out. Right behind me is this pocket, and I believe we're into some crystals here. This looks pretty good here. We just need to pull a few oh, out. Me. Me. Oh, thank you. Is this? Oh, <laughs> oh, nice, nice, sweet. So there's gonna be more. It's like a little purple in this one. We'll have to get it cleaned up. So this one had just purple right in the tip but a beautiful citrine and a beautiful formation. So I'm getting it from here to here. Here's our pocket. I'm just gonna have to be careful because any moment you can open up and you can find a nice crystal. A juice bomb, juice box. I thought they was getting thirsty, but uh, it's actually a crystal. The local slang here for <laughs> a killer one. Look at that. Golly, now that's a nice piece. Super formations, no damage. Look at that, all the way around. That's what we're talking about. So you can see that this machine opens these pockets up and they'll pop out left and right. <laughs> all right, look at that. Dude, that's nice. Oh wow! With that, with that. Yeah, we're gonna get this one on top. Dude, with that one hanging off the side. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice smoky, dude. Yeah. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, it's loose. Yeah, it's ready. Here we go, guys. It's possible this one's got a scepter stem. Can't tell yet, huh? It's kind of loose back in there. It don't feel like it's up against the wall. Dude, this could have a scepter. Either way, it's a huge crystal. Oh, yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> They're funny like that. You know you can pull it, but you just you can't, you know? Yeah. So, guys, right now, we're on the opposite side of the field. You can see over there... It's where we've been all day. So we decided to check out a new spot. And look at this. It's ready. It's ready. Oh, nice formation. Look at that. Super good form. Check it out. Check it out. What? Like a castle there. And that's what they're talking about right here in Hallelujah Junction. <laughs> All right, working on one. Working on a huge piece, you guys. Probably gonna be a few more minutes till he gets it out. But it's huge. Getting into it, it's about to get crazy. But look at that. Oh, 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 that's got the perp. That's another one. Look at that perp. Yep. But you guys, this isn't even the best piece. Look, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's huge face. Nice. Oh yeah, and there's more. Look at that yeah, whopper. Yeah, look at that. So look at this piece, you guys. Not clean, it's gonna look better, but we're thinking that that is maybe gonna be a spot where this scepter will fit right back in, or the stem into the scepter. So Ryan has figured out where this stem attaches back and check it out it locks right back into place so you'll probably use some type of epoxy i guess glue and reattach make that permanent check it out
Sure we're digging on this wall still and oh yes I can pull this one on out just got into a point here let's see I had there we go I think we need to pull out the sticks here oh yeah this is gonna be nice We got it. We got it loose. Oh, oh, sweet. Look at that. Look at that. If, if you need to uh... take him out of here, I'll, I'll gladly step in and... Uh... I don't think he'll come. I don't think he'll leave. Go so? Hey, I'm going to come. Oh, no, don't, don't come. Don't come. Don't come. Ooh, Ooh, man. Check it yeah. out. There it is. Another one. Check this one out. Oh, oh man. Yeah, those wow. click. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that perp in it. All right, here it is. All right, let's get this yeah. <laughs> sitting right there, you guys. Ready? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Oh, has it got a rider? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. wow. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Let's see here. After digging all day, ended up pulling out these really cool scepters. The one on the left having an awesome phantom. Ended up having several more handfuls of noteworthy finds. Beautiful citrine, amethyst. Really, really fun times on this mountain. Thanks again to Ryan and his crew. This is such an awesome experience, and if you guys want to check it out, be sure to look up Ryan on his Instagram. There'll be links in the descriptions. Check it out.